Hi cuties, today we're multitasking. on Tumblr you know that I'm working on a pretty big sewing project. Uh, you can kind of see some of the stuff from the project behind me and I'm working on one bit in my lap right now. It's almost finished though. Not the entire project, just this one bit. Because I've been so busy with this project and I will probably be busy with it for the next month. God, I only have a month. I decided that today's video is going to be a little bit laid back. So we're going to be starting a new segment today called Nippon News. So basically I'm just going to tell you about some random stuff that's going on or has happened in Japan as of late. Or will happen. Very soon. So something really, really cool is happening tomorrow and I'm kind of depressed that it's not happening today so I can't show you yet. Tomorrow there is a solar eclipse. This is both awesome and kind of aww. It's awesome because, dude, solar eclipse! But kind of aww because it's happening at 7.30 in the morning and that's when I leave for work. I'll try to get some footage of it. Obviously I can't point my camera directly at the sun, but I'll try to be filming when it happens. So that's pretty freaking awesome, right? Here's something else that's pretty awesome that I'm trying to go see this weekend. I'm gonna see if I can do it. I'm not sure yet. There are these jellyfish in Toyama called Firefly Jellyfish and they're basically luminescent jellyfish. And between the months of March and May is their breeding season in which they go to the beach of Toyama and basically light up the beach. And I saw pictures of it and it looks really really cool so I'm gonna try to go see it this weekend. I'm not sure if I can! Because this weekend, ustream.tv slash channel slash nipponq. Remember that. Your Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Mountain, and 6 p.m. Pacific. Be there! So I might go Saturday night. Maybe. I'll see. I really really hope I can. But, you know, busy. Some of you might be wondering why am I making all these costumes? Well, I'm not gonna tell you. You'll find out in a month. Next thing on my list, you might have heard about it, is they recently opened Sky Tree. Sky Tree is now the tallest structure in the world. And most junior high school students are gonna see it this month. Because this month is all the field tripping month. So each year at school has a different amount of time for a field trip. So not this week, but the next week, my third years will be gone for three days. Second years are gone for two days, and first years just have a day trip. All the different places, so my third years are gonna go to Tokyo. And they will get to go up Sky Tree. The difference between Sky Tree and Tokyo Tower, besides height, is Tokyo Tower, you can just go. Sky Tree, you have to reserve tickets online. You can't just walk into Sky Tree. But don't worry, it's definitely on my list to go see. Even though it is so high up, oh god. I read an article yesterday, and I just kind of had to share it with you. You know how there's that silly stereotype that all Japanese people are, you know, secretly naked? ninjas or samurai. Well, an article I recently read kind of proved that point. There's this business guy, right? And he's doing some business down in Tokyo, but you know, the deal's not going exactly how he wants to. So he leaves, he comes back with a golf bag, but inside the golf bag is a samurai sword, otherwise known as a katana. And he proceeds to chop off the arm of the president of the company he was dealing with and injured two others. Fun! Do not mess with this man. I thought you might just enjoy hearing that story. Now he did get arrested, obviously. But still, dang! In upcoming events besides the solar eclipse and the jellyfish, on June 10th there is the biggest ochikai, which is the biggest tea ceremony meet, I guess. That's going to happen right here in Fukui in Eiheiji City at Eiheiji Town. The coolest part about this is, you know, Michelle, she's going to be in it. As far as we know, she's like the only foreigner who's ever done it. I think you have to have a special invitation to go, so I don't think I can go. But yeah, biggest ochikai in Japan happens right here in my prefecture. Yeah. And last but not least, the most terrifying piece of news I have for you, or at least terrifying to me. For those of you who remember when I went to Tokyo with my friend Nino slash Kaylee, and we went to Ikebukuro, and inside Ikebukuro we went to Nekobukuro which was the cat cafe. Cat cafes are all over Japan, but that's not what's gaining popularity right now. What's gaining popularity is the awful, terrifying, oh god, why, why, rabbit cafes. Why, why rabbit cafes? Oh god. I don't like rabbits. And yes, I know my Facebook name is Usagi, which means rabbit, and it's highly ironic, but that is because of Sailor Moon, okay? Difference. Yeah, I have a Sailor Moon live action book. That's right, I do. Got a problem with it? I don't think so. So that is all I have for you today, cuties. I gotta get sewing on these lovely projects. But I will see you Thursday, and I will see you Friday night. Remember, I stream. Bye!
But yeah, biggest Okachai. Okachai? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I just put that pin through my own skirt. Let's sew myself to the costume. Oh. I have a message. I bet it's from Naomi, because Naomi's coming over today. Don't read the book, make the video. So that is, ah, everyone's talking to me, my goodness.